Baron Hilton, who oversaw the expansion of his family's eponymous hotel corporation, died at 91 last Thursday. Hilton's celebrity granddaughter, Paris Hilton, posted a series of Instagram posts throughout last week in memory of her grandfather. He was a legend, a visionary, brilliant, handsome, kind, and lived a life full of accomplishment and adventure. Baron Hilton was born in Dallas, Texas in 1927 to Mary Adelaide and Conrad Hilton. Before joining his father's business, he served as a photographer for the Navy during World War II and later acquired a twin-engine rating in aviation when he was only 19. He even founded his own business, including the Air Finance Corporation, an aircraft leasing company. Hilton had an outsized impact on the country's football industry. He was the original owner of the Los Angeles Chargers, and as president of the American Football League, he helped forge the merger with the National Football League. However, when he was elected to succeed his father as president and CEO of Hilton Hotels in 1966, he had to drop his football interests. After an initial investment of $25,000, he sold his holdings for $10 million. Once he took over Hilton Hotels, Hilton purchased the International and the Flamingo, both hotel venue complexes from financier Kirk Kerkorian. He renamed them the Las Vegas Hilton and the Flamingo Hilton, respectively. This made Hilton Hotels the first company on the New York Stock Exchange to venture into gambling. One of the venue's most famous headlines, Elvis Presley, set a world record of the Las Vegas Hilton for selling out 837 consecutive concerts. In 1977, Hilton bought the historic Waldorf Astoria Hotel in Manhattan and real estate from the Penn Central Railroad for $35 million. The deal is now valued at around $1 billion. To expand Hilton Hotel's market reach, he opened the Conrad Hotels in the 1980s and Hilton Garden Inn in the 90s, the former appealing to the ultra-rich and the latter appealing to the middle class. Baron Hilton resigned as CEO of Hilton Hotels in 1996 after serving the position for 30 years.